Well, joining the president on Capitol Hill, U.S. Representative Mark Takai, uh, back home for a quick visit here uh, during his first year in Congress. Good morning. Thanks for joining Good morning. us again. Aloha. Have you thawed out a little bit? Oh, yes. Although, you know, it's pretty chilly here. It's a little cooler, but yeah. nip in the air feels kind but of But not like Washington. Yeah, yeah, you're getting an awful lot of snow. <laughs> well, let's talk about, um, first, since we just mentioned the president, what he's doing to address ISIS. You, you're one of your uh, committee assignments, armed services, mm -hmm. so you'll, you're right in the, in the heat of all of this. Um, and just within the past week, a uh, couple of weeks, he's talked about bringing ground troops mm -hmm. to, um, to Syria. And, of course, no surprise, the Hawaii delegation having a lot of uh, reservations. Um, you've talked about your concerns over this being kind of a blank check, um, mm -hmm. vague limitations. Right, sure. Sense. Well, uh, first of all, thank you very much for having me this morning. Uh, it's really great to be yeah. home. I tell people that I work in D.C., but my home's here in Hawaii, so... Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this week. Um, I, I, I appreciate what the president's doing right now with the summit. I think it's uh, very important for us uh, in the world community to have this conversation about why we're in this particular place in history and, and what it means uh, to focus on e extremism and why so many people are gravitating. Uh, earlier we talked about the uh, young kids throughout the the world um, moving that in that direction. And we have to understand that. Um, but I've always said uh, during the campaign and as, as a newly elected member of Congress that the president needs to come before Congress and, and, and make a request uh, for the use of force. And, um, you know, Congress has the, uh, the responsibility to declare war. And if we should do uh, that, um, you know, we need to know the details. So in terms of the use of ground troops, um, I've looked at the president's request. It is right now pretty vague. Uh, it doesn't talk about a specific geographical boundary. In fact, it's, it's, it's limitless. So we, we could use, or the president could use this authorization uh, to, to go into places outside of the Middle East. Um, those are the types of questions that I have. And I'm looking forward to the next few weeks where we have this discussion on the details. I had mentioned to you, I think either today or yesterday, uh, the most recent CNN poll came out about, you know, gauging the American public about how they feel about how the president is doing in this regard. And you're a little bit surprised that the numbers have, have gone down significantly as far as the president's approval rating. You think that's just a reflection of how the American public is feeling well, in I didn't general? Yeah, I didn't see the most recent one, but just about a week ago I saw a poll that showed the president uh, doing much better than the last few months. Um, that's actually, you know. that's, that's a good <coughs> reflection too and how people are just um, unsure of right. what's happening right now. Right. I mean, you know, when you declare war, it's, it's probably the most difficult decision that a president uh, has to make as well as uh, members of Congress. I mean, you're, you're putting our uh, young people in the military in harm's way. And uh, I, I do believe that the conversation needs to occur. Um, I appreciate the president coming before Congress and, and making that request because, as you recall, um, he was using, as well as uh, President Bush was using, an authorization that was more than a decade old. Um, and it's, it's time for us to have this conversation as to what specifically this authorization will provide the president. Speaking of our military and what's, what's happening to them, uh, we've had recent talks mm -hmm. all across the country about the potential for, for cutting uh, the military, mm -hmm. a, a big range as to what could potentially happen. But give us a little bit of an update as far as what you're hearing and, and what direction you think this could potentially mm -hmm. go in particular with Hawaii. Well, I think the biggest challenge that we have facing us in Congress and in, in fact the entire nation is the effects of sequestration. Um, you know, if, if we do nothing, then the caps that come into effect in a few years will make drastic cuts to not only defense but non-defense. And I think the uh, Army in this particular case is, is getting ahead of that, assuming that sequestration is going to happen. Um, but yeah, the potential cuts to Hawaii are quite significant. I mean, it, it, it not only means 20,000 members of the U.S. Army here in Hawaii, but 40,000 others, including their families, about 1.3 billion each year uh, will affect us in, the, in terms of the economy. But I have hope. You know, I, I went to Congress, uh, I'm in Congress now, discussing this almost on a daily basis. And I feel confident that uh, uh, one of the um, major items that we're going to be addressing is, is sequestration. And I think if we can get a handle on sequestration, work together, both the House and Senate Democrats and Republicans, 
then these drastic cuts that we've been hearing about will not happen. I gotta make sure we talk about Aloha on the Hill. Uh -huh. Because we've seen you in the Miley Lay, we've mm -hmm. seen the, the, the Lay, we've seen the uh, what, Aloha shirts on Friday. Yes, absolutely. You're having, a, you're having an impact there, bringing some Aloha. Well, there's here. some things that I learned <laughs> from the legislature in, the, in serving for 20 years, and one of, one of which is Aloha Fridays is a big deal, in, even in the, on the floor of yeah. the State House. And although I can't wear an Aloha shirt on the floor of the U.S. House, uh, we've made it a point to have Aloha Fridays in the office, and every member of the, the staff is in Aloha wear. And you're hoping that's going to spread a little bit, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and you also want to make sure that people who are coming to uh, Washington, D.C., get in contact with you and talk about being there. Right. You know, one of, one of my roles as a congressman is to make sure that we take care of our, our people, um, both here in Hawaii and those going to um, Washington, D.C. So I just want to encourage people that are coming to our nation's capital to reach out to our office. And then we have um, an event every week called Aloha on the Hill. It gives me an opportunity to meet with whomever's around town um, and spend some time with them. So, you know, it's been great so far. Well, he's also going to be very busy. There is a press conference coming up this af afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have more on that on KITV4 News at 5, 6, and 10. Very important issues for uh, Congressman Takai as well. So thank you very thank much you. for giving us a few minutes. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.